Good morning, everyone. Vlogmas day 20. Holy crap. We are on officially our last week of Vlogmas. So I, it is 10 o'clock almost. I just finished editing day 19 and it is rendering and uploading to YouTube right now. So what's on the docket for today? Well, today we're gonna make salt dough ornaments. We're going to um, clean up the bedroom and get rid of all that laundry that you saw yesterday. Um, <laughs> and then it is my nephew's third birthday. So we're gonna go over and have a get together with the family. Um, this is again the group that we've been seeing throughout quarantine, kind of quarantining together almost. So um, we're excited for that. We got a text, we meaning my husband and I got a text from his mom this morning that was not, um, God, how do I say this? <laughs> it was not a tone I freaking appreciated. We'll put it that way. It was, uh, it was not so much an invitation to come tonight, more of a command to come tonight. And uh, usually when Brett works a 12 hour shift, he comes home and then like is up for maybe another hour and a half and then he goes to sleep. And so he was commanded to come directly from work, can't even go home and change or shower or anything. And um, we'll see how that works out. He's, I don't think he's particularly happy with how the situation was handled. I mean, I just hope all the nonsense we've gone through with my nephew like transfers over into like when we have our kids. I just hope it's reciprocated. Like I hope it's, so we'll see. Um, <laughs> I want to be careful because I know sometimes my family members watch the video, but, um, yeah, so we don't buy my niece and nephew presents. We put money into their college fund. I think that that is the best thing we can do for them, especially with the cost of college only going up and up and up. And I'm pretty sure that our college fund is the only one that they have. So we're not gonna be able to pay for their whole college and eventually we're gonna have our own kids that we have to worry about for theirs. But we wanna help however we can. And I don't see the point in filling a child's house with a bunch of crap and a bunch of plastic toys and things that they're not gonna want in a month or even in a week. Um, when I can put money towards their future instead, it just seems stupid to me. I've been given a lot of wonderful gifts over the years, don't get me wrong, but the best gift that was ever given to me was my entire college being, like my whole, all of my college being paid for. My undergrad and my graduate degree were both paid for out of pocket. Um, I had no loans and I have no student debt and that is like the biggest gift I was ever given ever given and I'm so thankful for it. So if I can help my niece and nephews with that, that's what I want to do. So um, I just wish that the situation was handled a little differently this morning because I woke up to a, a text that I didn't particularly appreciate, but <sighs> it is what it is. So I am gonna let this finish rendering. I'm gonna grab something to eat. I need to take a shower. And then we can start in on the bedroom. I think I wanna do the bedroom before I do the salt dough ornaments. I gotta figure out how to do that too. I think it's literally just you mix the dough and then you bake it and you call it a day. So, um, but it should be interesting. Today we'll, we'll have a little bit of substance. <laughs> so um, let's get on it. We're on to the salt dough ornaments. I took a shower, I'm all nice and clean. So the oven is preheating to 300 and then in this bowl I have one cup of salt and four cups of flour. And then the water is running because we're supposed to add a cup and a half of warm water. Supposedly warm water will incorporate more easily so I've just been like stirring up the flour and salt so they get incorporated. Whisk you down. Nope, we're gonna have to completely reposition. That's steaming, that's a little hot. I don't know if I want it hot. Right, I'm gonna get that to cool down just a tiny bit. And then I'm gonna just literally add in a half a cup at a time. Oh, son of a muffin. 
Oh crap, that's a third of a cup. Hold on, hold please, hold please. Okay, I fixed it. <laughs> I added in the uh, the few, the other thirds that I missed. I thought that was a half cup measure. I should have known better. Okay, we have a one cup measure, or a half a cup measure. So now I'm just going to put this stuff in a little at a time and get it all mixed up. And of course the battery is going to die, so I'm going to have to replace that. I will be back in a moment. I have got my dough and I think it's ready. I used, a, so it called for one and a half cups of water, warm water. I probably used an additional third of water on top of that. It just wasn't coming together. So um, I'm going to take the rolling pin, roll it out, and then I'm going to use this cup to cut my shapes. And then I'm actually going to use my knife sharpener um, to create the hole at the top of the ornament. Please don't forget to do that. <laughs> um, and then I'm going to have to find a way to grab all of these creatures so I can push their little tiny paws into the dough before I bake it. So I'm going to turn on my audiobook. I'm listening to Prisoner of Azkaban and let's get rolling. We're done rolling. That was a nightmare. Um, I ended up just throwing out the extra dough that I had because it was such a nightmare. I'm trying to figure out the best place to put you guys so you can see me press all of the creature's paws into their salt dough. So I've got the three best ones here. And then I have six others that I'm actually gonna put the ribbons on and give to my sister-in-law for my niece and nephew so they can just decorate them. I just thought that would be fun. I've got extra ones and I thought that'd be fun for them to do or I might give them to, actually I'll probably give them to my mother-in-law because she, um, she watches the kids while Brittany's at work. She's a kindergarten teacher, so. Um, all right. Let's try to grab a kitten. Okay, I think I'm gonna have to get what do you think? Can I snap? I think I'm gonna have to get a can of tuna to get Rory down. Okay, let me see your paw. Let me see. No, 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 no. It's okay. It's okay. I'll give you some tuna too. You're being a good girl. Hold on. Get, I know. We have to get your paw in there. Look, it's your paw. Look, it's your tiny baby paw. Good girl. Go, go. Can you come here? Can you come here? You wanna see what mommy's doing? Yeah, you help mommy? Can you sit? Can you sit right there? Good girl, okay, let me see your paw. Let me see your paw. Oh, honey, I'm not hurting you. She just peed. I know she just peed. There you go, okay. It's okay, she just peed all over the floor. Tuna? Or you want you, you want some tuna? Yeah? Tuna? Come on! Everybody gets tuna for participating. Yep. Psych! You get your tuna after. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on. I know, I know, I know, I know. Hold on. Give me your paw. Give me your paw. There you go. That's all. Go get your tuna. Go get your tuna. Good girl. <laughs> okay, so I don't know. I, we'll see how these turn out. They're not perfect, but I think that's part of the fun. So, okay. God, Rory and Magnolia's paws are like the same size. Okay, I'm gonna put a little notch. I'm gonna clean up and then I will catch up with you. And if you're wondering why I had to tuck my t-shirt in, <laughs> It has all these holes in it, and they kept catching on this hook while I was trying to roll. It was driving me up a wall. All right, I will check back in with you when those are done. So they're supposed to cook for an hour, and then cool, and then um, 
the article that I read suggested that you put white spray paint on them in case they get too brown in the oven. So I have some extra white spray paint, so I'm gonna take them outside, spray them all up real quick, and then I have some red paint. I'm gonna paint everybody's name on their ornament and the date, let that dry, and then it's one o'clock. I gotta get this done before Brett gets home because I need to go ahead and wrap them all this is part of his Christmas present. So luckily he doesn't watch my vlogs. I don't think he watches. I don't know if he's ever seen any of my videos, including all of the ones that he's been. In. So, all right, I'm gonna get to cleaning. He figured out what he wants to do for our menu for Christmas Eve. So I gotta look at for Christmas day. And see, see, I'm hooked. You can't even see it, I'm hooked. Um, <laughs> but I'm gonna get this all figured out, cleaned up and I will catch up with you in an hour. guys out of the oven and I am disappointed but I'm hoping as they cool oh shit they're hot oh um, I'm hoping as they cool they'll look better I don't know Coco's looks really bad like it's missing a whole pad like her whole paw pad right there is missing I don't know I mean <sighs> it's whatever it smells like I baked cookies but we're gonna cool them off and go from there. I just went ahead and did this. <laughs> so, does it look like a toddler did it? Yes. Is Brett gonna still really love it? Absolutely. So I ended up just using this paint that I got from the Dollar Tree and it was so hard to see everybody's paw print that I just went ahead and filled it in. So it's not perfect, but I don't really care. I think that he's gonna really like them and well, I hope he does. So I'm gonna let these dry while I'm sitting here. I might do another coat of red. We'll see what happens. But I need to get ready for the birthday party. It is four o'clock. Brett gets off at seven and then we're headed over there. So I'm gonna get ready and I also need to like move these to my office and hide them and I have to find the ribbon for them. So. Here. This is really, this is really neat how you laid this out. This is actual turf. We bought it. Where did you go? Place. I went to Arrow and ripped some out of there. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Happy birthday.
Yeah, be careful. Don't break it. There's, there's not many left in the metro. <laughs> well, I think the front tire isn't completely full. So I forgot to show my outfit before we left. Um, but my top is by Free People. This is the cashmere sweater Brett's mom got me for Christmas last year. And then the mom jeans. And then these are Franco Sardo boots and I'm pretty happy with this outfit <laughs> and then I don't I think this came from forever 21 and this is of course the Chanel button necklace so we had a really good time at the party it was just family and just the immediate family it was a good time though so um I think that's pretty much what we have for today I am going to get all of this off of my face and uh I will catch you guys tomorrow for vlogmas day 21 be sure to subscribe to the rest of Vlogmas. Oh, say goodnight, Noodle. Oh, you can't even see her. Good night. Good night. Come on, hug me. Oh, it's gonna be a no. Hard pass from Noodle. All right, I'll catch you guys tomorrow.